What's happening YouTube? Cowboy here and today I'm going to be showing you all of the outfits in Assassin's Creed 3. So before we jump into the outfits one thing I want to address is the issue of the hood. I've seen this question asked on pretty much every Assassin's Creed 3 video I've done on every four of my frequent and I want to let you guys know after you beat the game there is no way I repeat this there is no way to get the hood back on the basic outfit. I know you might think I'm crazy for saying this, but I promise you it cannot be done. So unless in the future Ubisoft puts out a patch, if you want a hood, you have to wear an outfit that comes with a hood. I repeat, the standard outfit does not have a hood. Don't ask Ubisoft support. Don't Google for it. There is no solution. It's just part of the game design. Now that we're past that, let's go down to the outfits. So, first one up as you can see here is the standard assassin outfit. You unlock this one by default by completing sequence 5. So we can see a little uh, white with the, the blue pattern and of course you got like the little red uh, scarf or something dangling from your waist. And here would like Moving on. Now these aren't technically considered separate, well, I guess they're considered outfits but not really costumes. Now there's six of these in total. Three of them that are unlocked after you first reach Boston, and three that are unlocked after reaching New York. Now if I remember correctly, I believe the New York, the Philadelphia, and I want to say the Jamestown outfit are the ones you unlock when you reach New York. And then obviously Baltimore, Boston, and Charleston, you have all those when you first get to Boston. But anyway, let's go into them. So the first one is the New York outfit. And this is the one that I have on in a, a lot of my videos. As you can see, it is a black coat. You have a red trim and then a white shirt. Overall, this is probably my favorite one. I don't know. I just think the red and black always works well on the assassin. To business. Moving on from the New York outfit. We have... No, not maps. We have the Baltimore outfit. Dark brown with white and red accents. All right. You can see it's kind of close to the, the previous one. I mean, it says it's dark brown. Obviously, this room isn't very well lit, but... Let's see, maybe I can, like, get underneath the light and show it off a little bit better. I figure these damn shopkeeps would have better lighting in their stores. But anyway, that's the Baltimore and outfit. Would like On to the next one. Up next is the Boston outfit. Brown outfit with red accents. Alright, well, Baltimore was brown with red. Let's see how different this one is. So this one actually looks a little more brown than the previous one. Um, aside from that, it's not very much different, but you can see we got a little bit of blue added into there. Still got the uh, the red trims coming off, a white collar, white hood, and then the coat itself is brown. To business. Uh, on to the next, we have Jamestown, white outfit with red accents. Like I said, I believe this is one of the ones you unlock when you get to New York. This one's actually pretty cool. It kind of has that like old school Assassin's Creed vibe with the full white coat and the red accents. As you can see we got like the brown straps are on it. What do you need, my friend? All right, moving down our list. Two more to go here. With the Philadelphia outfit. Light blue with red and dark blue accents. As you can see, it's not so much a light blue. It's more of like a slate, almost grayish. This is another one that actually looks pretty cool, I think. Still doesn't compare to the New York. I mean, black and red just... Oh, I think black and red looks awesome, but... 
to business. And one more from this guy. The Charleston, dark blue with leather accents. So I said the Charleston, I believe, is you get this one when you first reach Boston. As you can see, it's similar to the other darker outfits, but you can actually kind of notice the hue of the uh, hue of blue in this one. You got a little gold trim up here. All the accents are like a brown leather. And that is it for the purchasable outfits. So now we are going to go on over to Homestead and look at the other outfits available or I guess costumes if you want to call them that since they're completely different wardrobes. Uh, you can see in the Animus the lighting on this one changes. You can see it much better. I always run out that damn door. Now, as we go downstairs, one of the first things you might notice is, hey, he's missing three outfits. And the reason for that is, one, the outfit I'm wearing goes in this slot here. So you're always going to have at least one empty slot. Now, the other two slots, unfortunately, are outfits that can only be obtained through pre-orders. So I'm going to pull up a quick picture of each. The first one is the Colonial Assassin outfit. And the wiki description, at least, says the Colonial Assassin outfit was previously owned by Assassin John de la Torre. It could be unlocked for use in free roam by purchasing the digital deluxe edition of Assassin's Creed 3, pre-ordering the game at Target, or through pre-ordering at Play.com. The second outfit that I don't have is also another pre-order one, which, as you can see, is right here. And this is the Captain of the Aquila outfit. The captain of the Ikea outfit was a captain's uniform worn by the Ranatanaken Ton. Although similar in appearance to the default outfit worn when on board the Ikea, it has or er, it was more formal in appearance and had several notable differences. It could be unlocked for use in free roam by purchasing the digital deluxe edition of Assassin's Creed 3 or by pre-ordering the game at Amazon. So, if you got the digital deluxe edition, you'll have both those outfits. If you have a regular edition like me, you won't. But on to the rest. First up, we have Altair's outfit. Complete all main missions with all optional constraints. This one easily takes the longest out of them to get. As you can see, full-blown retro look, big old belt and everything. If you want a hood, here's an outfit with a hood. Moving on from that, we have Achilles' original outfit. Now, this one you unlock by basically doing all the homestead missions. If you progress through the homestead missions enough, eventually you get to one where Achilles passes away and leaves you everything in his will. And this outfit is one of the ones that you go, it's the one that you basically fetch it from a cave for him in one of the missions. But as you can see, it's fits a bit more snug than the other assassin outfits but also this one has a hood so if you are going hood crazy you can have a hood with this outfit at the end of the game on from that we have captain kids outfit which you have one captain kids outfit by completing oak island and if you're unaware of what oak island is basically after you collect all of peg legs trinkets You'll go to Oak Island, and you'll discover the treasure, which is the Shard of Eden, which will help deflect bullets, and then Captain Kidd's outfit. As you can see, it's like a bit of a pirate outfit. You have the hat on and some piratey tassels, and it swishes in the wind. It's pretty cool. It also comes with uh, dual holsters. Actually, I think I just have those. I don't know. But I never, can, I never seem to notice some other outfits, so... 
I don't know. Maybe you just see him better with uh, this one. Moving on, we have Ezio's outfit. You have redeemed the Ezio outfit from Uplay. And if you don't know what that means, basically at the starting menu of the game, um, if you have your account linked to Uplay, you can access Uplay and get the outfit through there. It costs Uplay points, which you earn through playing the game. Uh, off the top of my head, I want to say it costs 30 Uplay points, which just beating the game, I think you end up getting like 60 or 70. So halfway through the game, you probably already have enough where you could buy it. If you've ever played any other Ubisoft games with their Uplay feature, you might even have points left over from that that you could buy it. As you can see, it's it, that's exactly what it is. It's an Ezio outfit. And once again, this has a hood. So if you want a hood, Ezio, you can wear his outfit to get one. And on to our last two. The Kankila Kaka outfit, which I know I just butchered that name, but oh well. And this was actually really disappointing. This is the outfit you get for collecting every feather in the game. And I gotta say, when I was going over all the feathers, I figured I was gonna get all these feathers, you know, it was gonna be badass. I was expecting like a wolf headdress or like a dead bear hanging on my head or like like a dead panda maybe and from like Tropic Thunder, you know, something like that. But no, it's just your plain old Indian outfit, leather, some tassels. Pretty lackluster considering how long it takes to hunt down all those damn feathers. And the final outfit is the prisoner outfit, which once you complete the prisoner sequence, you unlock the prisoner outfit. Another one which is pretty dull, but I mean, oh, it's kind of cool that you got the whole like bloody chest. I guess if you want to run around and just be an axe murderer after you've beaten the game, this is probably a decent one to toss on. So that concludes all of the outfits for Assassin's Creed 3. As I mentioned, if you feel the need to have a hood and you're dying without having one, your options are Altair's, Achilles, and Ezio's. The bonus uh, content outfits may still have a hood. Like I said, I don't have them, so I'm not 100%. But aside from that, that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.